In this video, we'll look at how we can use nested if statements to create a grade letter out of a score. The idea being that if a student receives a score of a certain amount, that we automatically generate the grade letter that would be associated with it. You can see the uh, if statement that I've got here. Now, what we're wanting to do is for there to be no grade letter showing if there is no score, um, but if there is a score, then we want to be able to indicate what that grade is going to be. Now, it will depend on what your grade boundaries actually are. The institution I'm in is using this set here, where A is 85 and above, B is between 70 and 84, C 55 to 69, D 50 to 54, and F is 0 to 48. Uh, these can be whatever values you like. Uh, they are what you're going to be putting in up over here in the nested if statement. You can just copy this directly out of the notes and paste it in. Now you'll see that this is using D3 as the target. In this case, my cell here is D2. So I'm going to copy this Put it, and I can put it wherever I like, wherever I want the grade to be, but I'm being, at the moment this one is going to be pointing to something that's happening in D3. I'll put it here. So there it is sitting there and it's pointing now at this cell here. And uh, if I put in a score of, let's put in 55, which is going to be a C, it gives me the correct amount. Now, of course, once we've got our nested statement in there, we can just copy that down and that will fill correctly the different values uh, as we go down in a series. So a very, very simple way, or once you've pasted it in, to work out what's going to happen with it. Now, if of course uh, you don't want to start with D3, um, you could go through and you can change this value uh, to wherever it is that you want to point it to. Just use a find and replace, and then you can copy it away from there. Uh, again, if you're wanting to change the values, work out what your scale is going to be and put in the appropriate value. It doesn't have to be out of 100, of course. Uh, it can be whatever percentages uh, your institution is working with. Now, for those of you who are interested in that, just go ahead and copy it. If you are interested in what the actual if statement is doing, then stay with me for one extra minute as I go through it. So the very first part, we're starting our if statement and we're going if D3 equals zero. So if the cell is zero, so here we've got if D4 equals zero. So if there's nothing in there, we don't want to be trying to generate a grade. Uh, if we put a letter in there, uh, we automatically get a grade, but it's not correct. If we put a number in, and in this case, I'm gonna go over 100, um, we'll automatically get a grade because we've used uh, a greater than and equals over here. But if the number is within our range, then it should be working correctly. So if I go 49, that should be an F. So first off, if D3 is equal to zero, um, then we're going to do nothing. And if that's not the case, then we have our first result that's gonna happen. If it's not equal to nothing, then we're going to do this. And here it begins our first nest. So if D3 is now greater than or equal to 85, replace to whatever value you want, then, and we're having to use a letter, so we're putting it in within quotation marks, give it an A. And if it's not that, then we're going to go to our next if statement. So if D3 is greater than or equal to 70 now, now if it was greater than or equal to 85, then it puts the A automatically and it finishes the if statement. But since it wasn't greater than or equal to 85, we'd drop to the next level and we're checking to see whether it's 70. And if it is greater than or equal to 70, then it's going to give it a B. Again, watch those quotation marks. And if it's not equal or greater than 70, we drop to our next level where it's checking to see whether it's greater than or equal to 55. We'll give it a C in that case. Otherwise, if it's not, then we're going to drop to our next level, which is, well, okay, it, it's um, greater than or equal to 50. We'll give it a D, and everything else, we're just going to give an F. Now, what say you want to have A pluses and B minuses and those extra ones? Well, it's quite simple. You're just going to drop more F statements within these brackets. You can 
nest that out as far as you like but uh, I'm just doing it to this level here if you're wanting to extend it you can see how that principle works you've just got to wait make sure that you match up the correct number of closing brackets with opening brackets for your if statements I hope that's useful for you